Hello, hello, welcome to Shading White. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a thread up box. This is a five pound mixed jewelry, or should I say DIY jewelry, um, from Swanee, Georgia. Hope everybody's doing great. If you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms, and YouTube happens to be one of them. Um, we show you what we have first um, and give you first dibs. It's very simple if you're interested in purchasing. Just take a screenshot of that and that gives you most of the information. I also have it down below in the description of the video. And... Um, we do videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mondays and Wednesdays are mostly always jewelry, and Friday is a mix-up. Uh, let's see. Um, shipping. We do PayPal. We send you an invoice. You don't have to have a account with PayPal. However, we do ship uh, pay, uh, invoices on Fridays, and we ship Monday through Friday, and that is as the payment comes in, so it can be anywhere from Monday through Friday the following week. We have a receipt here. And this was $48, uh, no shipping. I believe I've hit that mark. This was purchased on March 13th. So let's look and see what we have. We have some air pockets, or I think that's what those are called. <laughs> Lots of them, which is good because we can always use those. And here is, let's get this out. And get rid of the box. Okay, so here's what we have. Let's go ahead and tear this because it is in here pretty tight. And there is a first look. Hope we get something good. No matter what, it'll be fun. So, this bag is taped up tight. So, I'm just going to slice the bag and we're going to go and start going through it. Oh, isn't that cute? It's a Hello Kitty inside of a um, glass, decor glass. That's cute. It is one inch by one and a quarter inch. I'm gonna say it is not sterling, just because most of the time Hello Kitty is not. It is not magnetic, but I'm not seeing a mark on it. So I'm just gonna say that is cute. Let's just say $4 for the Hello Kitty pendant. And the good thing about um, Thread up versus Goodwill is generally it's not as tangled. And I say generally because it has been tangled before. Okay, this is pretty. This is acrylic. This is all wood. Silver tone. Uh, no signature. It does have an extension. It is 22 inches with about an inch extension. And then this uh, acrylic piece is an two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So I'm gonna say, let's just do $3. Let's see here. We do have a real pearl, um, a silver tone pieces with leather. Uh, no signature. There is a mark on the lobster clasp. This is 925. 
reminds me of a, a sapata piece, but I don't see a mark. So let's just test this part too. Let's go ahead and mark, test a couple pieces. And all of the hardware is sterling silver. Well, that's not bad. Right out of the gate, we're getting sterling um, and pearl and leather. The size of this without the extension is 16 inches with an inch and a half extension. And on this, I'm just gonna say, let's do $12. Okay, let's see. Are we missing a clasp? Yes. Okay, so this is faux pearl and just chain, um, and it is missing the clasp. So I'm just gonna say uh, $2 on this piece. We have a little discoloration on the um, lobster clasp. However, I'm kind of wondering if that was intentional. Let's see. We don't have a name. No, all this is ex um, discolored on this part. Um, we have like a smoky quartz color. Um, it is cold to the touch. We'll test it real quick. Let's, this is really cool. This is like triple strand gold tone with beads. I'm not even sure if this was original. I think this is an added part. So this has been repaired. And somebody um, took these pieces and sealed them onto here. So this part goes with all of this. The chain is uh, 23 inches, the extension is four inches, and this hanging part here is six and a half inches. And this is just glass. So I'm just gonna say $2 on this piece. All right, we have a tag on this one that says loft. Maybe it's not supposed to all be down. Okay, so we have these stars. I think it's supposed to all hang together. <laughs> but these little beads is keeping it from moving. Anyway, it has these four, it has a bar um, a bezel set, like faux moonstone, just a plate, and then a cubic zirconia, like stars. It's locked. It has this really cool chain, and then these light blue beads, and they're bicone beads, so they're really nice. It is 32 inches, and I'm just going to say $4 for the loft. Here... It's unsigned and it is like a waxed um, string. It's a wrap bracelet, like so. It's not magnetic, it's not sterling, 
So on this, I'm gonna say $4. Pretty colors on the faceted beads. Here we have another wrap bracelet, unsigned. And um, it's like a brass with a um, waxed, um, uh, cord and I'm just going to say four dollars on this one also this has a tag and it says uh, what does that say I think it says RLM Soho, which is Robert, I think it's Morris. Robert Lee Morris. And this is cool. This is intentionally oxidized um, on a uh, waxed cord. And um, it is signed um, RLM Robert Lee Morris Soho. Um, and his pieces do really, really well. Generally, in the resale value in the $50 mark, it's about a 20-inch necklace with a 3-inch extension. So I'm going to say let's do let's do 25. That that's really nice. Let's see. We have a black chain, black long chain. That's a really cool corded chain. Um, it's metal, and then it has a five um, glass piece in the middle with these. I am not familiar with this, so I'm going to give you a length on it. It is 29 inches with the circles and the five being two and a half inches by about two and a quarter inch. And I'm just gonna do $5. Well, isn't that a cool piece? So this is ceramic. This is ceramic. And these are like, They're almost like shells or um, cat's eye beads. It's on a barrel clasp. It's a green color, 30 inches with an additional inch with the beads. Um, so I'm just gonna say $6, but that is really a cool piece. Uh, no name on this one has a little sweetheart on the bottom let's see there's a little bit of discoloration on the lobster class but that's what it looks like it's like a pebbled um, texture and then there's a little discoloration there it is 20 inches with a one and a half inch extension I'm just gonna say five dollars because there is a little bit of discoloration here these are some interesting pieces um, this is just brass okay and then this is like brass beads there is no clasp super long it is 38 inches and the metal piece is 
with a brass uh, pendant is three inches by two and a half inches. And I'm just gonna say uh, $5 for that one. Lots of um, interesting pieces in here. Okay, so this is a Chico's. Um, really cool, like, beads, lobster clasp. It is an ombre blue. And then it comes down to this, which is leather and um, some dyed chips, stone chips. It's pretty long. It is 32 inches with a four inch extension and then a six inch tassel. Um, for the Chico's, I'm just going to do $5. Um, this one has no name. Um, nice, really nice um, waxed pieces. Super soft. Uh, multiple strands. Good condition. It is 16 inches with an additional 3 inches. And it has this hammered... There is some um, slight um, scratching here. I don't see a name, as I said. So I'm just going to say $4 for that one. All right. So is this supposed to be multiple tone? Um, I think we have an additional extension here or broken piece or does it even go with it? <laughs> All right. So it's silver tone, but it's missing some of um, the tone because it's copper underneath and it is just... Um, two metal tassels. So I'm just going to say $2 for that one. This is loft. And I'm going to put it over to the side because I think this might go with it. All right, so let's put that over to the side. Uh, we have a J. Crew, but we have pieces. I think we have a lot of pieces in here. <gasps> All right, what is this one? This is a Banana Republic. Uh, very nice. It's faux pearls. We have some rhinestones. Um, really nice chain here. This one's in really good condition. Okay, this one we like. Just a long chain. It is uh, 38 inches. And I'm gonna say, let's do $6 for the Banana Republic. Okay, here we just have some large um, beads, um, larger on the bottom than the top. On the top, they're round. On the bottom, they're oblong. Uh, no name that I see. Silver tone. It is 20 inches with a three inch extension. And I'm just gonna say, let's do $4 for the acrylic beads. And then we have another Banana Republic. Uh, this one's pretty cool. 
This looks like, like a tiger's eye ball. Um, and then um, it comes off. So I don't know if this was originally part of it or not, but it is really cool, just that part of it. And then just this Banana Republic chain that looks at certain ways that you turn it, it looks like a little um, silver cast, but it looks gold tone. Um, so that's a really cool piece. Let's get a measurement on it. No extension on this piece. It is 30 inches with the turquoise, I mean the um, tiger's eye ball charm being an inch and a half by an inch. I love that. So I'm going to say $10 for the Banana Republic and the uh, tiger's eye ball. Okay. I don't know what this is. Gold tone with some yarn. Doesn't make any noise. Um, so I'm just gonna say two dollars because it's kind of cool with these beads, um, and they are uh, filigree gold tone beads. Okay, here we have a really nice um, toggle clasp. It is not magnetic, so let's check it real quick. It looks sterling. And it is sterling. Well, that's nice. Um, let's see if these are... I believe these are smoky quartz. Isn't that beautiful? It is 24 inches. These are gorgeous. There is some flea bites on the quartz, as would be expected. Because, um, you know, they're natural. They've been polished. Um, but I love this really... Um, vintage feel to this. I don't think this is necessarily a vintage piece. I just think it has a real cool groovy feel to it. So I'm going to say um, $20 on the Smoky Quartz Sterling Necklace. All right, let's see what we have here. This is pretty. This is a locket. That's, it's enameled green um it opens there is some like schmutz on the back it's a really cool chain it is a j crew with senorita class it is in good condition 32 inches um this just needs to be wiped down i think an inch and a half by, I'm gonna say seven eighths of an inch. And I'm gonna say, let's do 18 for the J. Crew locket. Okay, this one is a Y necklace. Let's see if it's signed. It's gold tone. It is not um, magnetic. I 
Um, it does have copper in it, so I'm going to say it is not sterling, so just gold tone. Um, but a cute little dainty um, Y necklace. It is 20 inches with a 3 inch extension, and then the Y and the bar is 3 inches. And I'm just going to say, let's do uh, $4 for the little gold tone Y necklace. Um, it's missing a ring right here, but it's like so. It is a really cool chain. You just need an extra um, O-ring up here in gold tone. It is 36 inches, and I'm going to say just a dollar because it needs a repair. Uh, isn't that interesting? Okay, so we have this like rhinestone. I don't see a name. Um, here's rhinestones. Okay, along here, here, and here. There is some scratches. Super heavy. Really cool looking chain. Oh, there might be a name on this. K.S. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? I'm going to do some research. Details later in the video. Okay. We have four ribbon necklaces. Okay. This one says G.S. at the top right here. And then like this maze. And that's the brown one. The green one has Diplomat GS. The pink one, I don't see a charm. And the gold one or orange one has a peace sign. So all of these are going to be $2 for the four necklaces. Okay, here we have a ribbon that has a toggle clasp on it. The toggle clasp is not um, magnetic. Uh, so that's our scratches. And it's sterling. Yes. Let me clean these two off. So we have this ribbon with sterling um, closure. And um, it's green and pink. needs to be washed. But because it's sterling, I'm just going to say um, $6. So, not bad. Okay, I had to stop because everything was tangled up. Don't you like that? The way I say that these are rarely tangled and this one was all tangled up. Okay, so this one is a Kendra Scott. Um, I have never seen this before. Um, and the reason I thought it was a Kendra Scott was because of its sign KS. And then I looked it up and it is called um, uh, a rhinestoned um, arrowhead. There is some scratches on it. However, it looks um, no missing rhinestones. It is a beautiful piece. Chain is lovely. A very unusual chain in the back. Um, and it is one that you can uh, make it shorter or longer as you wish. The longest that it can be is 34 inches with the pendant being 3 inches by an inch and an eighth. And it is $70 um, 
used online. However, because it does have some scratches, I'm going to do 25 for the Kendra Scott. Now, here we have an asymmetrical um, acrylic um, bracelet. It does have some um, uh, dings, not dings, like scratches and scuffs. Um, I don't see a name, but it is really neat how it is an inch and five eighths. Um, it is two and five eighths across. Let me give us... looks like it's about a seven and three fourths of an inch so on this one I'm gonna say let's do six dollars it's very cool the way it's asymmetrical um, like wider on this side than it is on this side so very cool then we have this scuff um, this is brass hand painted and then it is black and then etched um, really, really nice piece. This is brass. It is um, right now about a seven and three fourths. However, you know, you can manipulate it a little bit to be larger or smaller. It does have some scratches down here um, on the paint, but what a really cool brass um, bracelet. And on this one, I'm going to say let's do $8. Now, this one is really neat. This is agate. Um, this is some type of glass. And I think these are also, it's just on a braided cord. It is 26 inches and the agate is a little over two inches. No, it's about two inches by two inch. And I'm going to say, let's do $10 on um, the really cool agate uh, brace necklace. Now, this is a really nice piece. I think this does not have a name. It looks like it is painted um, a silver tone because it's like really bright silver with a gold tone finish um, threading. It is a lobster clasp. It is 18 inches with a three inch extension. And I'm just gonna say there is some discoloration around some of the rings. So I'm just gonna say $4 on that one. Um, this one is no name, but these are kind of a rusty metallic color tied in between. Um, it is a lobster class, 16 inches, three inch extension. Just gonna do $3 on those. This one is another um, Banana Republic. And it is two um, chains that are black and silver tone. And um, there is some discoloration. Uh, so it is 18 inches, and I'm just going to do uh, $2 on the Banana Republic. We have this piece, which is Spring Street. It is metallic seed beads with multiple um, strands. It is like so in the back, a little wider with an extension, not using the extension. The shortest is 30 inches. And um, there's slight discoloration, so I'm just gonna say $5 for this one. And unbelievable. Okay, are you ready for this? This is my uh, very first time ever of finding a Chin Lu. Uh, 925. However, there is probably two or three uh, missing beads on this one. Um, I just can't believe I finally find one of these <laughs> and it's missing um, beads on it. Let's see if these are. 
either quartz. Um, even with it missing, I'm just going to say, let's do, um, let's do, because it's sterling, I'm going to say $10. Then we have this piece, which is really pretty. Um, it is on a leather strand. However, I believe one of the strands is broken. So I am just selling this part, which is, I am kind of unsure. I believe this is real, okay? The mother of pearl does not look real. Um, but the abalone, I think this is fake. So I'm just going to say a dollar for the faux um, mother of pearl and abalone. But part of me says it feels right, but not. So just a dollar because it is broken. All right, this is just a chain. And it is unsigned, but it is like just a curb chain. Um, it is not sterling. It is not gold. It's just gold tone. It is 36 inches with a four inch extension. And I'm gonna say $5 for the gold chain. Then we have this. It is unsigned, um, but it is discolored um, and also the pendulum um, is discolored at the end so I'm just gonna say um, two dollars for that one then we have this is a J crew and it is <laughs> everybody's calling this a tuning fork design I'm not sure if that's really what that should be called. Um, there is slight scratches on it. It is 30 inches and the pendant is three inches by about two, uh, about one and uh, three fourths of an inch. So I'm just gonna say, because it does have a few scratches, I'm gonna say, um, let's just do $7 for the J Crew. This one does not have a name. Silver tone with an enameled design. It is 24 inches with a two by two inch pendant. So I'm just gonna say $2 on that one. Here we have another GS um, and it says Girl Topia. And um, I'm just, it is a, a waxed um, necklace. And I'm just going to say $2. Then we have another um, wrap bracelet. Um, this one's unsigned. And I'm just going to say, let's do um, uh, $4 on that one. This one is, okay, so that's gonna go with that. And these, are, um, I uh, watch uh, uh, straps and let's see. This one's pretty. It looks like somebody made a bracelet with an evil eye. Um, that is pretty cool. You just have to tie it. And I'm going to say $4 on that one. And then here we have these earrings. They are, what do they say on the back? They say 925, but they look discolored. So let me test them. Yeah, they look sterling to me. Yeah, it turns blue instantly. They, let's see. 
I believe it's just glass. Yes. So it's like a pale blue. Let me look closer. <laughs> yeah, pale blue. It is very oxidized, um, but they are sterling silver wires. And they are about an inch and a quarter, um, but just the bottoms are about three-fourths of an inch. That's what they look like. And I'm going to do $15 on those. And then we have some bangles. This one's really cool. Let's see. It is not um, magnetic, but these two are. But if anybody wants the three of these, the size is about eight inches. I'm just going to say a dollar for all three. Okay, this is the weird part. Okay, well, first off, this is sterling and it's broken, so that's just going to go in um, my sterling um, scrap. But this. It's the first time I have ever gotten such a broken lot from ThreadUp. So I'm kind of thinking that this is the first time I've ever gotten a real DIY box from them. And um, there is so many different um, necklaces, pieces, broken pieces, actually some really nice pieces, um, but it's broken. Um, but I mean, it's lovely. There's a broken J crew. Um, there's a gorgeous rhinestone piece, um, that has wire all around it. Um, just broken, broken, broken. So all of these pieces are going in a bits and pieces bag, a big bits and pieces bag. So all of this is going... There is glass um, beads. There is sign pieces, uh, sign bracelets. Um, just lots of different pieces in here. But it's all bits and pieces. See? And that's what it is. Isn't that crazy? So this big bag, let me weigh it. It is one pound, 2.6 ounces. So this is going to be uh, $13 if anybody's interested in the bits and pieces uh, bag. Also, I have five um, mixed lot bags available, and those each are $25 plus shipping. And um, those come directly off of my um, bags like this. Um, I don't go through them again once they're sold. I might forget to put um, pieces in the sold list, but um, I don't go through them again. So those are good bags to get. Um, but that's everything that we have in this lot. Um, is this a horrible lot? No, it's really not. There was some really good pieces in it, some unusual pieces. Um, there was some gemstones, there was sterling. So I don't consider it bad. It just actually is one of the first times I've ever gotten a DIY bag because it had over a pound of DIY. So let me know what you think in the um, comments below. I would love to hear from you. Definitely let me know what you're thinking. Um, do you like these kind? Do you like the ones that have the extra DIY? I'd love to know. Give us a thumbs up if you did see something you're interested in. Send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com. And I hope everybody is having a wonderful day.
Thanks for spending a little bit of your day with us, and we will see you on the next one. Bye!